What uh, what kind of whiskey is this? Ooh, classic Buffalo Trace. Good choice. I have to try this. Ooh, you put bitters in there? Nice. You gotta do a little clap to uh to sync up the audio with the the video. Yeah. What is going on, guys? It has been it's been a minute. I think I've last re uh, recorded a video about a month ago. But yeah, I've been uh, I've been doing a lot of freelance, and that means I've been drinking a lot of coffee, probably too much coffee, but good coffee nonetheless. No excuse. I'm making a video right now. Um, my buddy Matt actually let me film in his beautiful apartment, and uh, yeah, he's got some cool Draplin posters back here, which I was really excited about. So way to go, Matt. Um, and he made me an awesome old fashioned, which is really nice of him. And uh, so this is really good. Um, but yeah, um, some new stuff that's been going on. I uh, entered uh, Dan Petty's uh, Space Challenge, which is pretty cool. Essentially, Dan Petty, he's an awesome designer. Um, he gives a lot uh, back to the community. So you should definitely follow his YouTube channel and check out his Twitter handle. Um, he's always posting cool stuff. He hosts Epic Currents, which is an awesome kind of collaborative um, event where creatives get together from all around the world. Um, he's actually hosting a winter work week coming up pretty soon. Um, it's going to be in Yosemite. I don't think I can go, but um, I know it's going to be a lot of fun. Get tickets if they're still available and meet a lot of other creatives. We've got a little, we've got a little visitor here. Charlie. Anyways, Dan Petty threw on this space challenge where people are basically like submitting designs to like this brief that he put out in his YouTube video. Um, you can either design a logo, you can design an app, or you can design a homepage for this fictitious uh, space company that he kind of made up. I had a lot of fun working on it because I was able to sort of push myself in uh, a few days and really kind of just come up with an idea, execute on that, and then like push it out in the world. I did a lot of sketching, I did a lot of um, kind of concept exploration, and then I went into sketch and I designed the thing. Um, I also animated it just to kind of see like where I could take it, and I'm pretty happy with the results. So um, let's go ahead and uh, jump into sketch and I'll show you guys how I, how I made this. <laughs> So pretty much when I had my sketch sort of locked in and I knew that I wanted to have some mountains and stars and things like that, I came onto pexels.com, which is a really great resource for stock imagery. It's all free. Um, and then I searched space. So I came through here, a lot of cool, a lot of cool pictures on here. Okay. Yeah. I found this picture and then I just got rid of this like car. So I just literally like clone stamped on top of this and I use this as my background image. Um, and then I might've just found like another picture of mountains on pexels. Let's see if I can find the same mountains. I think I found mountains like this, like snowy mountains. Oh wait, this might actually be it right here. Yeah, I think this is the exact, the exact one. So I took this image along with the other one and then I kind of composited them together here. So I've broken these up into different layers. So this is my foreground mountains and then there's my background mountains and then the sky in the back. Uh, essentially, I wanted these to sort of be independent of each other so that I can animate them all and uh, have a cool sort of subtle like parallax effect. And I've also got my little moon up here, which can kind of move around as well. So. Kind of going into this, I knew that like I wanted these things to appear from the bottom, and then I wanted the moon to slide in from the right, and then perhaps the text coming from the left. So these were some of like my rough ideas before I even animated anything, but I kind of knew, you know, roughly what I wanted to achieve. So while I'm working in Sketch, I'm just going to use this, uh, you know, as a flat background to sort of have a reference of of what I want to do with my design. I'm going to Sketch, and let's go and insert a new artboard. Now we know we want to do a iPhone 10, so you've got that here on the right side. Click that. There's our iPhone 10 canvas, or artboard if you will. So then we're just going to drag in our spaced JPEG here. And I saved it out a little bit bigger just so that I could scale it down if I needed to. So let's just Alt, Shift, and drag this down to kind of fit the background right here. And then I also want to bring in my logo. I made a quick little logo in Illustrator, just something clean, uppercase. That was part of the brief. Um, just something very sort of minimal and spacey. We're trying to make a cool, sleek looking logo. So that's kind of what I came up with was this like sort of like cut out style um, design here. And we know that on, on the iPhone 10, there's that notch on the top. So let's go ahead and make that iOS UI design, come down to iPhone 10, and let's go to iPhone 10 frame. And let's just kind of position this on top. Now it's kind of hard to see because our, our image is kind of dark, but if we just go to our uh, background and just turn the opacity down a little bit, we can kind of see it there. So um, we also want to add our status bar. So if we go down here again, 
go to status bars and we'll click on a white one because it's on a dark background. Just sort of position that in place. And there we go. In the brief, Dan had mentioned that he wanted a title that basically said to space and back safely. He didn't have to use it, but I thought it was actually a pretty cool slogan, so I wanted to put that here. And I wanted it to be sort of like the main emphasis of the design, this big sort of branded title. So I went ahead and inserted a text box and just kind of moved this around. So part of the brief was that this needed to be, it needed to function like a travel app. So maybe you would book a flight or book a train ticket, something like that. Uh, but for this, you'd be going to the moon. So I wanted to follow some design patterns that I've seen on other apps to sort of, uh, you know, achieve this. And so I added in a round trip button and then a one way button. Oops. Just in case you don't want to come back, you can just book a one way. And in this case, I want the round trip to be the selected state. So I'm going to leave that color as is, and I'm going to make the one way just a slightly bit darker since the emphasis is on round trip. And then I'm also going to add a little underline on this just to give it a little bit more of a call out and to show that it's selected. So I'm just going to make that with my line tool. And then let's just find like a nice sort of pinkish red color to be our, our kind of main spot color in this. That was I think that was also part of the brief is that Maybe just one kind of like spot color that is used sparingly to kind of call attention. Now we also need a selection for how many passengers are going to be on this voyage. So, so I'm going to insert a shape and I'm going to go to rectangle. And this is going to be like a drop down menu. So I'll just sort of draw this in here. And we want this to be big enough for your thumb to kind of click on it. So I feel like around like 50 pixels tall by about 330 wide will be good. We'll take the borders off and then let's round these corners a little bit. Now I'm just gonna grab my fill and I'm gonna go to a darker color here. I think it, like I've been kind of experimenting with these darker UIs lately and I think they're kind of fun. Gives it kind of that premium spacey look. So just enough that it's, it's different than the, uh, the background. Now we wanna make this a drop down so we need to add in a little like button here that has like a little arrow so that it indicates that you can click on it. Let's go to insert shape line and we'll just zoom in and we'll go from the top to the bottom of this uh, this little form here. And I'm just going to make this color slightly darker like that and then I'm going to go in to shape, insert shape, rectangle. I'm going to draw our little arrow. And then if I go to transform, let's go to 45. That flips it to a 45 degree angle. We're going to get rid of this border. And then we're going to change this color a little bit darker. This is where you kind of just have to experiment with color. It's basically just darks and lights. Something subtle like this, I think, works. And then I'm just going to delete this top point. And then finish editing. Now we have this little like down arrow and that's our drop down right there. Now we need to actually add some text here so people know what they're going to like get themselves into when they click on this. Insert text and let's just write passengers. So the number of passengers that we would have on this voyage. So that's our little title of this drop down and then we want to add in the actual content here. So. Maybe that'll be a 12. We'll go 100% white. And let's just put one passenger. Or maybe two passengers because Valentine's Day is coming up. Two passengers. And I'm just going to kind of move these over a little bit. You can kind of see like the spacing on top here on the side is more or less the same. You kind of just want to eyeball that and see how it how it looks to you um, everybody does it a little bit differently but I think as long as you give the text enough breathing room around this area it'll it'll kind of lay out nicely so let's go ahead and just group this whole um, drop down form just so that it's all kind of put together nicely and if we need to move it around later it's kind of already grouped for us now that we have that we want to make our destination so basically I live in San Diego I want to go to the moon 
we need to have our starting point and our end point. So let's go ahead and just copy the background of our of our drop down because we know that we want the same width for this next portion. So let's just Command C and then just this Command V to paste. We just made a copy. Now we're just gonna drag this down. Now the spacing between these two, let's do about 20 pixels. That way they have enough kind of space around each other. And then I'm just gonna bring this down about, let's see, 10, 330 by 110. So I want this area to have two cards, one for the departure, one for the arrival. So I believe this is 330 width right now. So if we divide that in half, it's what? 165, I believe. But we want about 20 pixels in between to match this. So let's make them each 155. Let's just see if that works. Yeah, that seems to be aligned. You can just double check it. Yeah. Cool. So now our little gutters between this, these cards are all kind of um, matched up nicely. Let's enter some text here. And let's just type S-A-N for San Diego. And let's center our text with the alignment. And that's a little big. Let's go to like a 18. No, maybe like a 24. I've always seen it like this for like uh, airports and uh, other departures. They usually just abbreviate the, uh, the name of the city. And then let's just grab our passengers text and copy it and then go back here and hit paste. And we're gonna write San Diego, California. I might turn this out a little bit, maybe like about three. And just to give this card a little bit more kind of pizzazz, if you will, I'm gonna make a, a line that just sort of goes on the bottom of this. I just feel like that's a nice little way to sort of give this card a little bit more depth without necessarily putting too many shadows or anything like that. Now that I look at this sand, it's a little too spaced out. So let's just bring this in a little bit. So now that we've made this one, let's just make this a symbol. Right click, create symbol. We'll call it city. We'll drag you over, alt and shift. And let's just change our, uh, our text here to be moon. And then we will put the moon, comma, cosmos. Now I think it'd also be cool to have some sort of little like icon here that just like shows that, you know, you're going back and forth round trip. So let's insert a circle here or an oval. I'm just gonna draw this by holding Alt and Shift. We'll go about 40 by 40. Just kind of move this up to the center and I don't want any borders on this. I'm just gonna grab a fill and we're gonna grab the same background color here. Now, but see how you can't really see that on top of those cards? Let's add a nice little subtle drop shadow here. Maybe if we go to like a 30 and then just change our color, just drag this little slider over. Yeah, it looks nice. It just kind of gives a little bit more depth and it um, doesn't really distract too much from these cards. It just sort of shows that there's a nice little sort of like depth and layering happening here. And I've got this nice little icon here. I'm just gonna paste this in. I'm gonna duplicate it. Since this is round trip, we want it to go both ways. We'll just kind of center these guys in the middle of our circle. And I'm just gonna grab my rectangle tool and just drag here at the bottom. And let's just sample our same pinkish red color. And maybe move this up a little bit more. So if you shift select your elements, hopefully you've grouped your items so that you can kind of just easily shift select them all at once. Bring them down to the top of your button and let's go up two times holding shift. So that makes sure that there's 20 pixels around all this. Now that I'm seeing this, our title can probably move up a little bit too. So we've got our, uh, we've got our button background here. We just need to put a title and let's just write book voyage just expand our text block a little bit. And I feel like the text is a little big here. So maybe let's try like a uh, 18, that looks cool. And I'm gonna paste 
I'm going to copy the same arrow and paste it here. And that is basically, that's basically it. So the next thing I would do is just take all this into After Effects and animate it. So yeah, that's how I kind of went through my process of designing this space challenge uh, design. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something here. I'd love to hear what you guys are interested in. Um, you know, definitely leave me some feedback in the comments on what kind of videos you want to see from me. I think we can um, kind of build this community and just sort of kind of collaborate online, if you will, to sort of uh, just make things that you care about. So if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and maybe share it with, uh, with a friend that maybe would be interested in design stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll jam on it. Baby.